What's up guys, you're watching No Man Workout. This video is about impossible dips. I'm going to show you how to train for it and give you some quick tips that will guide you along the way. First of all, this is what an impossible dip or a models off should look like. The angle between your forearm and upper arm should remain greater than 90 degrees during the entire execution. Many people do them with an angle smaller than 90 degrees, which is not the correct form, but it's acceptable in the learning phase. This is a safe element, although you might start feeling a slight pain in your elbows if you overtrain on it. These exercises are a good warm up. I suggest you do them first, and once you feel warmed up enough, you can rest for about 10 to 15 minutes so you can recover the lost strength. And don't forget to alternate between both arms in this second exercise. Once you feel rested and refreshed after the warm up, you can start doing half impossible dips. The narrower the parallel bars get, the harder the impossible dip becomes. That's why I don't recommend working on your impossible dips on very narrow parallel bars to avoid frustration. Make the parallel bars slightly wider, not too wide, but just slightly wider than your shoulder's width. Performing an impossible dip on narrow parallel bars is almost impossible. You can also get help from your partner to make the exercise easier. Pick your favorite exercise from these shown exercises in the video and do 5 sets of 5 reps. Rest around 10 minutes between each set so you can recover enough strength for your next set. You can perform half impossible dips on a pull up bar if you want to be able to do it on a pull up bar. This will also help you unlock your first impossible muscle up. And as you've seen so far in the video, all progression exercises are centered around half impossible dips. Get down with your elbows as low as you can, then go back up. And if you want to make them more challenging, you can do them with a resistance band. Put the resistance band around your neck, then grab it with both arms. Get down with your elbows as low as you can, then press back up. And to answer the question, how often should I work on my impossible dip? I would say just go by your elbows pain. If you feel pain in your elbows, this means you have to rest. If you don't, then go for it again. Okay guys, so before I wrap it up, I want to leave you with this short clip of mine doing impossible dips. I did them with 90 degrees between my upper arm and forearm to maximize the reps. This is my personal record. Let me know what you guys think. Alright, peace out.